thanks for tuning in to another episode of Eating Out in Vegas. The featured restaurant for this video was recommended to us by one of my viewers, Lisa C. So I just want to give a huge shout out to Lisa saying thank you for recommending that we go to the Goldmine Tavern. It's located at 23 Water Street in what I like to call Old Henderson. So, there is so much information to share about this place. One of the first things would be that it happens to be the oldest bar in Henderson. It was established in 1965. You can go online, you can search and find out more information about it and see all the different pictures and functions and whatnot that they have going on there. And I will cover some of it here again. There's tons of information to share. One part would be they have happy hour every day from 3 to 7. They have free live music every weekend. And definitely go on their Facebook page to find out which bands are being featured. Under their events calendar, you can click actually onto the link of the band and find out more information about the band. If you click their link, We'll have videos so you can see some of their music, but also on the Goldmine Tavern's Facebook page, there are some videos featured there. They have free pool every Tuesday and Wednesday, and they have karaoke Wednesday from 7 to 11 p.m. So this place is not lacking in things to do at all. They have a nice bank of machines at their bar with a lot of space at both ends to where you can actually sit and eat. There's um, fantastic seating everywhere, whether you're at the bar or whether you're at the tables. And then, of course, the music, when they're not featuring live bands, then they have a jukebox that you're able to operate from your phone. So I think that's pretty cool. They also offer all city and teaching staff a 10% discount on all their drinks if you show your state ID. So, let's see here. Um, the only drawback as far as looking on their websites, whether it's their actual uh, website or their Facebook page, is that there's no menu to see. Now, I've got one that you'll see, and they are currently in the process of updating it, and so it's just taking them a minute before they can get it all posted online for everyone to view. Now, one of the things that I ended up doing because of the fact that I couldn't find a menu online was I went on between their web page and their Facebook page. I went and looked at all the photos just to see if I could find something, get some sort of an idea of what there might be. And I saw this one photo, wasn't quite sure what it was that I was looking at, but it looked so good that when we went there, I mentioned it to our bartender who was named Cruz that I saw this picture explain kind of what it looked like and she knew instantly that it was their carne asada fries. So we decided to order that. Fantastic. It had carne asada on it. It had this, I believe, a jalapeno cilantro sauce drizzled over it, jalapenos. Fantastic. Really, really good. So it was myself, my husband, and my daughter. And we tried to get you a variety of stuff that we could uh, provide feedback on. So one of the things that they feature are sliders. And they're three sliders and fries for $10. And they have approximately, 
believe, eight different choices. Now, from those, we ended up choosing six different ones. You're able to custom your order, so you don't have to have all of the same type of slider, unless, of course, you want it that way. So, with mine, I did what's called the Chiroque, or it's otherwise known as the Big Joe. And this one was my absolute favorite. It was a steak burger with jalapenos, pepper jack cheese, bacon, and then the jalapeno cilantro sauce. Now, I'm not a super big fan of cilantro. And so when we, when I ordered it, I inquired, I asked uh, Cruz about it, how it was and if she liked it. And she said, yeah, it was, it was not really heavy that it had an actual perfect uh, combination of the cilantro and the jalapeno. So I went ahead, I got that. And like I said, it was, it was my favorite. I really liked it. Then I got a chicken parm slider, which was chicken breast, marinara, and mozzarella cheese. And the other one that I got was called the Dirty Birdie, which was chicken with pepper jack, bacon, and then the jalapeno cilantro sauce. So similar in, in where the first one was steak with the cilantro sauce, and then the other one was chicken with the cilantro sauce, but then I had the other sandwich, which was chicken with the marinara sauce. They were all really, really good. Cooked well, juicy, and then the fries. The fries were my, well, I don't want to say second favorite, but I mean, they're, they're right up there. It's the fries that have that coating on it. So they have a little bit of that crunch, but they're still soft. And so, yeah, now my daughter's three sliders that she decided to have were the rodeo, which was steak burger, an onion ring, had barbecue sauce, American cheese, and bacon on it. And she really liked that one. I, I can't remember. I think she said that that one was her favorite. She liked the flavor of the barbecue sauce and the crunch of the onion ring. And she said it was, it was just cooked really well. Then she had a Hender Tucky Banger, which is a grilled chicken breast with pepper jack cheese, bacon, and honey mustard. And her third sandwich was, or her third slider, I should say, was a buffalo chicken, which is the fried chicken breast with buffalo sauce, and then it was topped with ranch. So, and she's a big buffalo chicken girl. She loves her buffalo chicken. So she had nothing bad to say about it. She liked the fries as well and the carne asada fries. I mean, I think we were all very, very happy with everything that we chose. My husband ended up having chicken fingers. They're called cluckin' fingers, and you have several different sauces that you can choose from on those, or you can also do rubs, and he chose the barbecue sauce. So again, he said barbecue sauce had a great flavor. They were cooked well. One part that I didn't mention at the beginning of this is my viewer Lisa happens to work here. After we had gotten done eating, we were trying to find out who Lisa was. She had mentioned in her communications with me that she worked whatever time, hours, and we happened to be there during that time, so we were trying to figure out who she was. So we finally asked the bartender, and of course, as I mentioned before, our bartender was named Cruz, so it wasn't her. We came across another gal, wasn't her. Then another bartender person came in, and we started chit-chatting with her, and found out it wasn't her either. That bartender was named Lori, and you'll see a picture of Lori and Cruz together. And I think we came across one other person. I finally said, can somebody please see if they can find Lisa? And so we were told she was the cook, and so I was pleasantly surprised that, you know, she wanted me to come and review her food, and 
thrilled. I'm so happy that Lisa recommended that we go there. We enjoyed it very much. And right as we were done, she uh, said she wanted us to try something that she was kind of playing with. And so she ended up bringing us out chips that she had fried up and, and put some sugar cinnamon sugar type stuff on it and some powdered sugar and whatnot and and they're phenomenal and then we also had the um funnel fries and of course those are drizzled in the uh, powdered sugar and and it came with a chocolate sauce and well i i love funnel cake it's you know one of the best things out there and the fact that she turned these into fries was just amazing because if anybody's ever been to a carnival and you've eaten funnel cake it you know it gets a little messy and you're trying to tear it and share it and whatnot and funnel fries are like the perfect you know creation for both worlds of being able to share it and hoard it which come to think about it my daughter ended up polishing those off. We we only got a few of them, so I guess I'll have to go back and get some more. But what I ended up doing with the chips, which they were good on their own, but I dipped them in the chocolate sauce that came with the funnel fries and preferred to eat the funnel fries plain. One of the things that was really nice was actually getting to know Lisa. Uh, she said that she had been out of the game for a while, uh, just had things, life happen, and now she's back. She's got over 20 years experience with doing food. She's opened a few uh, casino restaurants here in town, uh, kind of runs in her family. She's got a brother that has a restaurant in Colorado Springs, I believe it was. And, um, you know, her family just, or I believe it was her stepdad, if I remember correctly, had also um, culinary type uh, passion. So, it, you know, it was such a pleasure getting to meet her. And thank you, Lisa. It Your food was amazing. I hope that a lot of people see this video and come down there and and um, try the amazing eats that you're serving up. And we'll definitely be back and we'll take your suggestion and maybe come on one of the nights where they've got music going on and maybe be able to film some of that and do a second video and show everybody the difference between going in a weekday and going to um, the weekend spots. So if anybody else goes out there and tries it and you experience what they've got going on down there, please drop me a line, leave it in the comments. I always post my email now. So if you want to email me, that'll be posted towards the end of the video. And please don't forget to like and share with your family and friends. Also, please, please go on to YouTube itself. I know that I post these on Facebook and I have several people that share them different, different medias. And um, please go to uh, YouTube and subscribe. Get signed up, push that subscribe button. I actually hadn't paid much attention to the analytics of things, but I'm noticing that about 65% of the people that actually watch my videos are not subscribed. So please do go on to YouTube, sign up. If you have any kind of problems with it at all, please feel free, email me, let me know. I'll walk you through the process. It's not very hard when you sign up and you have your own account. You're not obligated to do any videos yourself. It is free. You know, it just makes it easier for you to view people's videos. You can get notifications. You can save videos, if, which I do constantly. Being a crafter, 
there's stuff that I might not be able to get to. I've made a list where I can save these videos and go back to them later. So it really is a neat thing. So please do go on YouTube, sign up, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so that you can choose to get notifications whenever a new video is uploaded and just explore it. Also, check out Instagram. I do have an Instagram account now and I will post a majority of the restaurants that I view on Instagram, but if you've been following me, you'll notice that in the last video I did state I want to try and focus on keeping my YouTube channel as um, the smaller places. I want to keep the local businesses thriving versus allowing, you know, some of these huge chains to dominate and whatnot. So, Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you all. Your subscribing means tons to me. I want to grow the channel. Um, you know, I'd like to, once I reach 100, do a giveaway. Maybe, perhaps, I might give away a Knight's Wreath. So if there's any Knight's fans out there, and if you think that that's a good idea, leave me a message. Let me know if you think that that's something that you would like to see, you know, kind of raffled off. So, and if you have any other ideas, feel free to suggest them. I'm open to it. So, you guys, thanks again. Have a great week. See ya.